Hello everyone, my name is Mrinal Koteri. I was joined All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my exam day strategy, how I faced one of the most important days of my life. So this is going to be about what I did and what I would suggest one day before uh, the exam, during the exam and right after the exam. So the night before, in my opinion, is more about preparing your mind for the exam rather than preparing your specific study topics. Light revision, I made sure to revise light only flashcards and formulae. For the most part, if possible, like if your schedule and your preparation allows it, I would actually suggest uh, that you avoid studying the day before the exam. This people have differing opinions on this. This is just my opinion. I did study the day before the exam. I didn't want to. I did end up doing it because I was trying to stress out but actually beyond a certain point studying only increased my stress so that's why I would recommend against it. Avoid new topics this is 100% true do not try to do anything flashy or experimental or new one day before the exam that this is not the time. Proper rest sleep on time especially because you're going to have those exam day nerves you're probably going to take some time falling asleep so ensure you leave enough time for rest because you don't want to wake up tired and exhausted in the morning be prepared i kept my admit card id pens and essentials ready no last minute chaos this i would say is very important because these are all things that can really affect your mindset on the day of the exam if you're um, running around the house looking for these things and there's just a few hours left for the test it's really going to mess with your mindset that's going to impact your performance in the exam more than your preparation Morning routine is all about staying centered, staying calm, ensuring that you follow a routine that keeps you focused. So wake up early so that you're not worried about making the exam in time. Refreshing shower, balanced breakfast. Uh, this is all the regular routine you follow. You just do it in the most ideal and most comforting and peaceful way so that you're in the best possible frame of mind for the exam. Mental space, avoided scrolling social media or discussing the paper. Because on the day of the exam, the more you think about it, the more you're likely to spiral out and crash out. And that could mess with your focus during the exam. So as far as possible, treat it as a regular day and just direct all your efforts towards keeping yourself calm and focused. Positive self-talk, power of the mind. So this is an oft talked about uh, formula where uh, people work with affirmations, visualization, self-worth. So repeated affirmations, I'm prepared, I'll do my best. Make yourself believe what is true, which is that you are prepared for this paper and you're going to give it your best attempt. Visualization, visualize walking into the center, solving confidently and smiling afterward. Manifestation essentially. Self-worth and reminding yourself that one paper doesn't define my worth because it is quite common that people get lost in the stakes involved in this one exam and they forget about the greater pictures it's just one small chapter in your life and you should always have that perspective in mind at the exam center it's always about focus mode you do not do anything that can distract you or stress you out so early arrival reach early so that you're not panicked about reaching the center very important point avoid distractions do not get distracted by others last minute revision stress you should ideally not be revising by yourself and you should not be around other people who are revising and stressing out because that is contagious. Deep breathing, breathe deeply before entering the hall. If you uh, meditate or something like that, then you could do that. Anything to keep you focused really. And self-encouragement, again, positive self-affirmations. During the paper, more than anything that you've, or at least as much as anything that you've studied in the last two or more years, what matters? is your time and mind management. You start strong, you start with your strongest subject to boost confidence. In my case, I started with physics. And it's not just because I felt confident about it, but because I felt that I needed that fresh burst of energy and the luxury of time that you have at the start. I needed that for physics. Quality focus, focus on accuracy over speed. Soon you will eventually enter the flow state where the speed will come. But it's all about staying focused so that you don't miss out on any small details in the questions. Mark and move. Don't panic if you get stuck. Mark and move on. There, there will most likely be a few questions that you'll have to mark for uh, revisiting later. That's fine. Everyone has to do that. Everyone does that. It's part of the game. So don't get stressed out by that. And time awareness. Check the clock once in a while so you're aware of how much time is left. 
but don't let it stress you out it's information for you that's it not something for you to stress out about the last 15 minutes are all about staying sharp these are the this, these are the most crucial minutes of your paper because any slip at this point could prove really really costly omr review most important of all these points i would say review the omr sheet carefully ensure you have done your bubbling right because these are the mistakes that hurt the most double check if there were any questions that you marked or circled for review then you can quickly revisit them at this point avoid overthinking don't overthink or change too many answers something i found from personal experience is that when you're slightly doubtful or, or dicey about a question your instinct your first guess that comes to mind when you read the question afresh is your best shot and that's something i learned during you know with all the mock tests that written so that's one thing i'll suggest you that's why do not overthink just trust your gut after the exam is all about letting go so we do have this tendency to um, go online and check for provisional answer keys from different institutes and uh, get an estimate of how much you're scoring which is fine you can do that but right after the exam you need to let the facts sink in that you're done with one of the biggest exams of your life so right outside don't discuss the paper outside you spend some time with your family so in my case my parents and my younger brother were outside so i went and i talked to them for a while and i was relieved that the paper was done self reward treated myself to something i love because irrespective of the result this has been a big long journey for you and you put and you've given your best for it so you do deserve some form of reward and appreciation for that so maybe go out to your favorite place for dinner get a dessert or something like that maybe watch a movie anything but you do have to give yourself some reward for all the effort you put in my biggest realization was that exam um cracking the neat exam or any competitive exam for that matter goes beyond knowledge and is dependent as much on your mental strength as your preparation it's not just about how much you study but how well you carry yourself on the day so strategy is in about solve only about solving questions is about handling pressure this is what i feel most people get wrong uh mental strength calmness clarity and confidence were my weapons personally i feel like this was of as much used to me at least these were as invaluable to my score and performance as my preparation over two years was final words that i have for aspirants is trust your prep trust yourself everyone has their own journey there's no point comparing it with others you know your struggles you know your strengths your weaknesses your achievements so far so judge yourself differently from how you judge others because only you know your own struggles find your center find what keeps you grounded because what keeps staying grounded and staying focused is more important than any last minute revision you might be able to do in the day before the exam or the two days before the exam and lastly this is just a chapter this exam is a chapter not your whole story this is one it's an important step but it is still just a singular step in the very long race or journey that is life so that perspective is very important for you to have and for you to remind yourself about from time to time uh that's all from my side i hope this video was useful for you uh thank you so much and good luck